Because the first question is, is when did you make this decision that USC was a school for you? Well, at first, you know, Sunday night, um, I was all in to go to Oregon. Uh, then when it came down to the point, it was Monday, Monday morning and Tuesday night, I really thought about it. And then that's when I decided to uh, pick SC over Oregon. And it, it, was, it was tough for me. You know, it was really hard for me to, to just turn over that easily. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm happy. My family's happy. What was it about Oregon that had you so intrigued that, that uh, you were near committing there? The coaching, there. the coaching staff is just phenomenal. They're, they're great. You know, Coach Don Pelham, he, he's, been there, he's been there since the beginning. You know, I, I couldn't forget him. And that's why I, I chose Oregon. But, you know, at the end of the day, I want my family to be happy. And I want to be happy, too. Was, was that official visit to Oregon kind of sticking in your mind on, on, on how impressed you were with the whole presentation and experience that you had there? Yeah, of course. You know, when I went out there, uh, I didn't expect to see what I saw, you know, the facilities. It was all nice and everything. But what really caught my eyes was the people, the character, and the, uh, the coaching staff, like I said. But, I mean, it had the opportunity to be a duck all the Now, we know that USC was concerned about you. Yeah. And uh, how much communication did you have with them in the final stages of this recruiting process? Well, you know, at first when the new coaching staff came in, uh, I didn't really talk to USC that much. I really wasn't a big fan for Lane Kiffin. Of course, Sark, man, he's, he's my guy. And I, and I think towards the end of the recruiting process, he, he made a big impact on me and my family. And just just tell us about ultimately, you know, you wanted to make your family happy, you wanted to be happy. What is it about USC that makes your family happy and makes you happy? It's home. I mean, I'm not going nowhere. Uh, being a Trojan for life, you know, after football, you know, life after football is great. I mean, Southern California, you can't beat that. The Trojans, they run Southern California. Southern California. Was was the selling of the Trojan family also a big deal for you? Yeah, the networking, the networking process, they're all great. I mean, it, it, it's what it came, it's not really what it came down to, but it was really a big part of it. Were, were your uh, your buddies uh, Toa and Bianne and, and, and Damien, were, were they on you at all or were they just let, were they being chill and just kind of letting you be by yourself and figure they, this all out? They, they, was, they would be chill but at the same time, just their body language would tell me like, fight on, fight on, why, like, why not fight on? And they, they, didn't, they didn't see this coming. Is it hard to say no to somebody as big as Damien Mama? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially when, when you, it's just me, Damian, Mama, Toa, and Vianna all in the same room telling me to fight on. And uh, what was the coach's, coach's reaction when you when you called him up to give him the news? I didn't call him up to give him the news. He probably, he's probably going crazy right now. He's probably waiting for the, my letterman uh, intent to fax him. All right, and now are you going to do that at like 2 o'clock at a ceremony or yes. something like that? Yes. All right. Well, hey, congratulations. And uh, tell everybody how you feel about USC. Sure that yell one more time. Fight on!